Hi everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I am making some stuffed bell pepper tacos that have Spanish rice in them that is delicious on its own, but it also makes a great stuffing for these peppers. We're also going to be using some refried beans and then we are going to top it with some vegan cheese. And then we're gonna stuff all that into some tacos and add a little hot sauce and avocado, and it is super delicious. So let's get started. I got some beautiful bell peppers at the farmer's market. Sadly, this was the last weekend of our local farmer's market, but they had some beautiful homegrown bell peppers in all the different colors. So I picked up a few of these red ones because I love these for stuffed bell peppers, but you can use any color that you like. So before we get into the recipe, make sure you are subscribed to my channel, hit that subscribe button, and leave me a big thumbs up if you like this video. We're going to start out by just cutting off the top of the bell peppers and then getting all the membrane and seeds out of there. This one looks like it's growing another pepper inside. But yeah, you just wanna get the top and all those insides out and that will leave a nice big cavity that we will then stuff. Next, we're going to place the peppers in a steamer basket in a large pot with a little bit of water in the bottom and we're going to steam those on the stove top. Now, if you have an Instant Pot, you can use that to steam them, but for some reason, mine seems to overcook things when I use the steam function, so I'm just uh, doing it on the stove top just to be safe. And I'm not wasting the tops of those peppers that I cut off. I am dicing them up and I'm going to use them in the stuffing. Next, we're going to prepare the ingredients for our Spanish rice or Mexican rice if you like. This tastes so much like the Mexican rice my Mexican grandma used to make when I was a kid. And so we're going to start off with some chilies. I also got these at the farmer's market, or I should say my boyfriend got them. He went and bought a half bushel of chili peppers because it was the last day of the market and he wanted to have plenty of chilies to roast. <laughs> so I was using them in this recipe. These are Pueblo hatch chilies, but I think jalapenos would work just fine or like an ancho chili or poblano chili. These aren't terribly spicy. Um, we do like it spicy, but I decided to go with a green one in this. The red ones do pack quite a punch, but they're not overly spicy. I do wish I had used a red one in this instead, but you can always add some chili flakes or something in the end if it's not spicy enough for you. So I'm also adding three cloves of garlic, which I am smashing first because it's the easiest way to get the peels off. And then I'm going to finely mince those. I'm also adding a half of a yellow onion that I am going to chop finely. I'm also adding some tomatoes. These lovely little tomatoes are from my garden, and yes, I am still getting tomatoes in October. It's amazing. They're very small, but very tasty. So I'm just chopping those up into small pieces, and we'll just add that in with the rest of the ingredients. I'm using brown rice this time, but you can use white rice. I've used that in this recipe before and it works great. But you're going to want two cups of dried rice. I added that to the Instant Pot, but you could also just use the regular stovetop method. And to that, I am adding one teaspoon of salt and one teaspoon of ground cumin. Then I'm adding all those chopped onions and tomatoes 
and chili peppers and the tops from the bell peppers as well as all the garlic. Then I'm just adding the juice from a half of a lime and then I'm adding two and a half cups of water. So this is for the instant pot. If you were doing this on the stove top, you might need three to four cups of water, but I just gave that a little bit of a stir and set it to manual for 22 minutes. And there is our beautiful Spanish Mexican rice. This stuff is so good, you really can just eat it on its own anytime or as a side dish, but it also makes a really great stuffing for the bell peppers. So the rice was totally oil free, but I do use a little bit of oil to refry my refried beans, and it's mostly just to keep the beans from sticking to the pan. I have old pans and they're not very nonstick, but if you have a good nonstick pan, you can probably skip out on the oil. Um, and I'm using fat-free refried beans from Trader Joe's, which are only like a dollar a can. <laughs> And I did add some garlic, just one clove of minced garlic to the oil and just let that soften a little bit before adding the beans. And I usually end up adding some water to the beans because they are usually too thick, just straight out of the can. So add as much water as you like to get it to the consistency that you want, which for this is just a nice spreadable consistency. So I didn't have to add too much water. So now I'm just taking the cooked bell peppers and cutting them in half and I'm going to stuff each side. Normally when I make stuffed bell peppers, I just stuff the whole pepper and I do have a video. It's actually the very first video I ever posted to YouTube that has the stuffed bell pepper recipe that's a little bit different from this one and really good. But I was just vegetarian back then, not vegan. And so I did use real cheese in that recipe, but you could easily veganize it by just using vegan cheese instead. Um, I highly recommend that recipe. So if you want a little giggle, check that out. I'll leave the link on the screen and in the description box below. So anyway, I just spread my refried beans and my rice in each pepper, and now I'm topping it with a vegan cheese. This was a brand I had not used before. I think it was the Simple Truth brand from Kroger. And I really liked their products, but this cheese did not melt the way I wanted it to. Um, it did taste good, so I just recommend getting Daya instead. So I just popped those into the oven and cooked them at 375 degrees Fahrenheit for about 15 minutes, and then I put the broiler on for about five minutes. You could also just cook them at about 400 degrees for maybe 10 to 12 minutes. And then I'm just cutting them in half because that makes them a really good size for stuffing inside a corn tortilla. And of course we want to have some avocado to go with it. So this is my method of slicing an avocado and I'll just set that aside. To heat my tortillas, I just took about a half a dozen corn tortillas and wrapped them in a clean dish towel and microwaved them for about a minute. If you're only using a couple of tortillas, 30 to 40 seconds is fine. I had some leftover refried beans, so I just smeared some on the bottom of a few of those tortillas, but then I ran out, so that's okay because the stuffed bell peppers have beans in them already and I did make a whole bunch of them because this is family style and I'm topping it with some avocado salsa from a brand called Herdez. I'd never tried it before but it is really good. I've been wanting to make my own but uh, not this night. We did make some hot sauce though with some of the red chilies that we got. Like I said, my boyfriend <laughs> bought a half bushel of chili peppers from the farmer's market. So we roasted a few of those up and made them into a hot sauce. 
This was actually sort of my son's doing. He is a budding little chef and loves hot sauce. It was pretty spicy, so I didn't use a whole lot on these, <laughs> but you do you. Spice it up as much as you want. And then of course I am adding some avocado. And I have to tell you, these tacos were amazing. I just kind of came up with this recipe on the fly and we've always enjoyed stuffed bell peppers and of course we love tacos and the Spanish rice just took it to a different level. Uh, I mean, these were just so full of really authentic Mexican flavors that just took me back to my childhood and going to my grandmother's for Mexican feasts. And our favorite thing was tacos and her rice. And then there would always be a big pot of beans and a huge stack of homemade flour tortillas. And I'm telling you, it was just amazing. And these tacos just took me back to those times. Really happy memories. So I hope you enjoyed this recipe and that you will definitely try these because they are so good. And I know you're gonna love this recipe. And if you do enjoy it or you enjoyed this video, if you like this kind of content, please make sure and give me a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Hit that notification bell so you get notified every time I post a new video. I have lots of free downloads in the description box below. I have a free recipe ebook. I have a vegan protein guide and of course lots of recipes on my blog vegerarchy.com so please check that out and leave me a comment and let me know what you thought of this recipe especially if you try it you can also tag me on instagram at vegerarchy i will see you in the next video peace out bye